what's up guys not much here just got back from a torturous 13 some odd mile ride uh, the last two days in in West Tennessee at least the wind has been blowing like hurricane type stuff man it's crazy like literally you're stopping going down a hill it's been rough so anyway Today I got in the mail a replacement um, casing for my action camera. You know, the kind that's kind of open-faced and it, it just clips in and push camera in and that type of thing. Anyway, I got a replacement because the one that came with my action camera has cracked and it's usable, but it's not usable. So the one that I got is this one here. I don't know if you can see. I'm sure you can. We'll go through some pictures here. So anyway, here it is. Here it is right here. It is not great quality. I'm just going to say it probably will break after the first couple of times using it because it is probably the thinnest plastic you can find. Uh, that's the first problem. So it is the kind that opens up and you just slide your camera in there and it closes shut on it. It's a, it's a good design. I like the design pretty well. But number one, extremely flimsy. Number two, really, really tight on my camera. Of course, I can't do a demonstration right now because I'm using the camera to film this. But it's really tight. And I can't put my, well, I done, oh, here it is. And I took my little fuzzy wuzzy was a bear that I made. I took it off my camera because um, this sure ain't going to fit in there with that. So I gotta figure something else out as far as my mic goes. I'll probably just put a layer or something kind of up here of that stuff. Just kind of stick it up here or something. Stick it around the case a little bit. Something like that. I don't figure this is gonna last long enough to much worry about it. So my plans are, which I should have done anyway, I've been wanting to do and because I like doing stuff myself anyway. I'm gonna make one. I'm gonna go to Lowe's and get some at uh you know, like half inch, three quarter inch, whatever wide strips of uh, metal that they got, uh, just to aluminum. They have different grades of thicknesses. I'm going to get a super thin one, thinnest one I can find. Bend it, measure it out, bend it real good, and drill some holes and make my own case as best I can because, well, I don't like cheap, flimsy plastic. So. Uh, anyway, if you're looking for something, this is supposed to fit like GoPro Hero 3, 4, and supposedly whatever those cameras fit, this camera will fit, and I'm sure that, that they do, but that's just flimsy and way too tight. No room for any sort of movement at all, so it probably won't last long. Anyways... I just want to make a quick little video on that. I just got it in the mail today. Uh, it did come with this as well. Little mounts. Mount deal. And the, of course the screw deal. They all come. Everything comes with these things. So. Anyway guys. I'll keep you updated on the one that I make myself. I'll try and get a whole video of that while I'm doing it. I love doing stuff like that. And I should have done it anyway. So. Anywho, I'm going to get something to eat because I'm starving to death after that ride. Guys, I appreciate you watching my videos. Like, watch, subscribe, share, comment, all that good stuff. No monetization, no ads. Free, free, free. It's all free. All this content, this wonderful content. Don't forget, guys. Get up, get out, get red, and do it to it. We'll see you later.